Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Anthony in the Wild and today we're here to review the wireless courtesy door light inside model D199 from ITIMO, I-T-I-M-O. I received this product for free or a heavily reduced price for my honest and unbiased opinion and of course guys you know with me that's exactly what you're gonna get my honest and unbiased opinion uh, if you like this video like it share it let's get the word out on these guys uh, questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them and I'll be happy to answer um, you can also follow me Anthony Fierro that's last name F I E R O first name Anthony and that's here on YouTube uh, as well as Twitter Instagram and Facebook for more detailed product review of this product as well as many other great product reviews too uh, I'm gonna leave all the hashtags links everything you need to go check this thing out online um, I'm going to, of course, introduce it to you, uh, show you what I like, don't like, and all about it. Uh, so let's jump right in there. Again, the wireless courtesy door light inside model D199. Uh, when I opened up for the first time, I'm looking at what you're looking at now, with the exception of each one of these three slots had two uh, AAA batteries in them. So score, right? You know, that's, you know, six batteries that you do not have to buy, which is awesome. Um, any time companies, you know, I don't care if they're the cheapest batteries and they only last two months or something, send them, okay? Because there's nothing worse than getting a product and getting home to find out that, oh man, now I need to go back to the store and buy batteries. So send the batteries in them. I'll pay an extra couple bucks just for to have batteries in it. Are you kidding me? That's great. Um, but anyway, I went ahead and inserted them and I've already tried this out. Uh, the other things in the package are these two uh, foam paddings, uh, three, you know, backed with a, a sticky side on each. And then you've got, uh, let me dig in here and get these out. Uh, one, and I'll show you what these are in just a second, if I can get it out of there, we go. And two, and these are little magnets uh, with sticky backs on them. So we'll put them right there and I'll show you what, oh yeah, you see that? I'll show you what they're for in a minute. Uh, but this is it. Uh, the also the other thing I like about this is anytime that you're trying to do something with your car, anytime that you don't have to do any wiring, or, you know, or, or mess with the factory wiring system of a car, uh, is always great. And some things you can't get away with: stereo systems, you know, the backup lights or cameras and fog. You know, these are all things that need to be wired. And if you do not know what you're doing, then you obviously need to take it to somebody who does. But this, all you have to be able to do is follow the instructions on the back of the box, which I will show you uh, when I'm done with this. But uh, this just slides out there, and uh, there are your, your three, I'm sorry, are these not AAA? Yeah, they're AAA, okay, three AAA batteries, um, and right there it is. Uh, and this is the unit, that's the front side, and this is the back side. As you see there, it's got 3M sticky, okay? Um, this is not the best 3M sticky that they make, but it's, it's decent. Uh, what you're gonna do is uh, clean the vehicle, uh, where you're going to put this, you know, and you want to, you know, check first to make sure, read the instructions and just follow them. And so they're pretty simple, only a few steps. Uh, but you're going to clean and then adhere this to the door, okay? Um, what this does is this you're going to adhere uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the metal part, um, uh, the door jam, uh, where you're underneath where you're going to insert this. And what this is is just a magnet that's going to turn off the sensor. And here's the sensor, it even says it right there, sensor. So this is going to be stuck uh, on the metal part of your door. And uh, it needs to be within, I think it's like five millimeters. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty light. Um, and I'll turn that off because I don't want to, well, I'm, it's turning it on. Anywho, the magnet goes under here like this. And when it's close to that, it's off. When it swings back, and as you see there, the light's now on. And then when this goes over, the light's off move it away and you got to think this is on your door okay so now your door is opening and uh, let's say this is the driver's side it's going to go this way and then comes back and when it gets over it closes it off another way to use this if and sometimes it even says this in the instructions you're not going to be able to use this where it can automatically turn the sensor on and off if so that's okay you can still use this by pressing the button and it says after two minutes that it will automatically shut off on its own regardless of whether you use this or not if this lights on for more than two minutes it shuts itself off to save your batteries um, pretty cool right uh, these are just these, these are basically little spacers if you need more space I, I would you know to get that in there or different things like that padding and spaces that's what these are for just little extra spaces and things of that nature um, put that there this and here is where you pull this out and inside there is a design 
okay, and a little uh, thin piece of plastic uh, in there, and it just inserts into here, okay? Uh, that does not need to be in there. You can take this apart, okay? It just pops right off, and you can take out that little design that comes with it uh, and order a new design to put in it, or just leave it out altogether, put this back in there, um, which I'm not gonna do right now, but then you'll be able to use the light uh, as such. So there it is, and look how bright that is. Now it does come out the side here, which would this would normally be blocked with that little piece, uh, but that's it. So you gotta think, you know, and this even with or without the sensor, it works, um, but you open up your door and boom, that's what's gonna be shine, actually, because it's gonna be higher off the ground, you know, but that's basically just to show you on the table here. That's what is gonna be on the ground. Plenty of bright white light, uh, little LEDs in there, um, you know, showing you what's on the ground to illuminate your steps. Very cool, okay? This is the design that came with it, and this is pretty, uh, you know, this pretty hip right here. But you open it up, and let's see, boom, Batman. That's the design that it, this one came with, and I've seen other designs and things like that. And you can make your own, it says. You can order other ones and uh, different ones, but this is the Batman signal. So that's pretty cool, and you got to think, let me uh, turn the light off here. Uh, uh, you know, imagine it's, it's, I got another light on, but still it's pitch black and boom, you know, that, that lights up on the ground. Very cool. Uh, also, like I said, you can also remove that. And if you just want a no logo, then you've got that bright white light. Uh, both of them are pretty cool. So no matter which way you go, um, you know, you're good. Either you got the Batman or you got just plain white light. Either way, it's pretty cool. So, um, but that's it. That's the unit. Um, and I showed you the box with all the contents in it, with the, except for the batteries, which I've already put in there. Uh, and I've never seen anything like this, to be quite honest. Uh, I've seen them on, you know, higher-end cars where you open the door and there's a little light that shines down, but I've never seen an aftermarket thing like this where it, uh, you know, puts out uh, a light, let alone a cool little signal like that. So the kids love this. They can't wait for me to, you know, I already had uh, uh, it hooked up. The other one is uh, the 3M tapes off and, and I'd use it to, with the sensor and stuff to make sure it was going to work and then uh, put it back in the box to do this this demo uh, but they, they love it they think the batman thing is so cool so uh, let me show you though the uh, the other side of the box i'm going to just pack this all away here and on the back are the instructions and you know i i knew no more than you when i started with this i followed those instructions and uh you know was able to install it and and it do just fine like i said that's how i know that 3m is not the best that they make uh, i'm going to look into getting some uh, other 3M or something uh, that's going to stick better uh, on my type of door panel. Uh, but here it is right here. These are the instructions. You got A, B, C, and D. You know, A and B are, you know, putting the batteries in and stuff. So it's pretty simple. You adhere it to your door, make sure the sensor is within 5 to 10 millimeters. Um, and that's your magnet, you know, over the magnet. So that's it right there. But it says right here also, you know, uh, the light will be off automatically after two minutes. So if you leave the door open, you're standing there talking, whatever, uh, or if it, it misses and it doesn't, you know, the sensor and it don't line up, two minutes it cuts off anyway, and that saves your battery. So all in all, pretty cool little uh, little gizmo here. I like it a lot. Uh, now that I'm done with this, the kids are going to be happy because I get to install it back in the car. So uh, go check it out. Get one for yourself, friends, family, loved ones, people you hate. Like I said, if you don't, if you're not down with the Batman sign, you can get other ones. Um, and of course, if it wasn't for the kids, I'd just pop that out altogether and just have plain white light. But uh, I'll have a mutiny on my hands if I take the Batman, you know, logo out. But uh, that's what's going on. And guys, this was Anthony from Anthony in the Wild. I hope this was definitely helpful. It's a cool little device, and um, you know, I give it, uh, I give it five stars. All right. Thanks. We'll see you next time.